Hi, I'm Dr. Dodvan. I'm a board-certified plastic surgeon here in Beverly Hills, and today I want to do a case study on top surgery, but using a keyhole incision. So I've already done a case study video on another top surgery patient, but using double mastectomy technique with free nipple areolar grafts. And today I wanted to do the contrast with a keyhole incision and really bring up the reasons why we would do one versus the other and how those patients present. And so you can see already, this is the before and the six month after patient results. And I actually filmed this surgery as well. And the link to that is below where you can click on to see that full video. But the results of that video were only a few days out. And so I wanted to show a six month recap, but let's take a look at the um, before photos and how I analyzed this patient and why I thought they would be a better candidate for keyhole and not double incision. So the main thing is someone is a good candidate for keyhole incision if they have smaller breasts, not a lot of extra skin and pretty normal nipple position. And this patient really fits all three things, smaller breasts, not hanging skin, and the nipples are located on the pec muscles. So to do a double mastectomy on this patient would be absolutely too much surgery, too much scarring. And you can just go in through a little incision underneath the areola to get that breast tissue out. And so you can see that's on the front view. And then when we look at the, the side view or the three quarter view, the other thing that I look for is to see if the skin will tighten up is the angle that the breast makes with the belly. When that angle is more than 90 degrees, then I'm very confident that that skin's gonna tighten up. And what I mean by that is if the breasts were in fact, sure, let me do this here. If the breasts were hanging like this, that angle here is much less than 90 degrees. So if I took out all the tissue, that skin is just gonna flop down on itself, kind of like an empty sock. And so in those cases, you do a double mastectomy procedure with the extra scars. But in this case, this angle here, this angle is well above 90 degrees. And so I'm confident that doing just a keyhole incision will address the skin as well. And I'll show you that in the photo on the afters. And again, you can see from the profile, very small breasts, perky, the nipples are in the right position, just taking out that breast tissue is all this patient's gonna need. So let's go to the afters. And like I said before, I, I filmed this video, but the results in that video were only a, several days out from surgery. And so this patient now is six months out and you, automatically you can see a much more masculine presentation. Instead of having this shadow down here, now you can see it just fits underneath the pec. And that's what this patient wanted, a more masculine presentation to show and define the pec border better. And the nipple position actually didn't change at all. And it still looks like in, the, in a normal position and it's not too low and, and a much more masculine aesthetic right now. And if I show you again from this three quarter, you can see that skin tightened up really well. That angle now is even better than the angle it was before. So this angle here is about 105, 110 degrees, but this angle here is about 150 degrees. So that skin tightened up nicely. And again, if you look at the profile view, a much more masculine presentation. Now, instead of this kind of doing like a ski slope, it's looking more like the shape of the pec. And that's what a masculine chest is. It's a fuller up top and less projected as you go down. As opposed to a feminine chest, it's flatter up top and fuller in the bottom half. So I was able, by removing the breast tissue, to give a more masculine contour to the chest overall. So patients come to me with concerns about how they present, and it's for me to analyze them and make sure I do the right surgery by them. So this patient was coming in for chest masculinization or top surgery, but the, this patient was not transitioning or, or ever planning on transitioning. Um, I do this type of surgery for obviously F to M or female to male uh, transgender patients, but I also do this surgery on non-binary and cis patients who just aren't happy with a feminine presentation and want a more masculine chest presentation. And so I take that all into consideration to get them the results that they want, but it, then it's up to me to determine the best technique. And so just to recap for this patient, why I did, did a, a keyhole approach was number one, small breast mound, so not large breasts. Number two, no excess skin. And number three, the nipples were in the right position. And so those three factors made this patient an excellent candidate for a keyhole approach to top surgery. 
So I hope you found this case study helpful. And I'd be happy to answer any other questions you may have about top surgery or chest masculinization or keyhole surgery in the comments below. Until next time, guys. Thank you.